It is our first day with the whole team together at Zavora, and we start off with a group meeting looking at the program for the week here in Mozambique, as well as some of the personal experiences leading up to this moment in time. Our team is quite diverse, but unfortunately we do not have many people speaking the local languages, which might prove to be a challenge. And as it is Sunday, the group splits up to visit some of the local churches. We are preparing for a, a church service and uh, the whole team is split up into four parts, but I think what's making it's really, really amazing for me is that we're literally under a tree in Africa. And I've been saying so long that, you know, when you, when you are assisting missionaries and missions organizations, a lot of times you would go and sit under a tree in Africa and record. And that's literally what we're going to be doing this morning. And I am just speechless. And I can hear some of the girls preparing with songs back here and it's just like this is such an awesome moment um, I am feeling so blessed In the time that Umdani and Tanidina spent here at Zavora, they trained and equipped some of the youth to plant and develop family churches. They are spread all over the area and luckily for me, I was picked for one of the groups that met underneath the most amazing stunning overhang tree. With the help of the pastors translating, each one of the team could bring something special according to their talents to the church family. Through my camera lens, I could see how language could not separate these people from different parts of the world to communicate and share the love of Jesus. The greatest value will not be found in gifts or trinkets. It is found in relationship, something that carries much more worth than anything else. Can I just say, this is what happens after a long day in the heat here in Mozambique when people get food to eat. You've got some screaming and shouting on that. Okay, so I should add that we're going to the beach now and I think there's a little bit of excitement about that. But yeah, everybody is just so happy. Yeah, serious. Okay, so by the way, um, that guy over there is called Amu. He's not looking at us. But this is Yuan. Hello, uh -huh. Yuan. Hello. Hello. How was how was today for you? 
very, very, very delicious. <laughs> We've got a cameo there. <laughs> but now we're going to the beach. This place is amazing. It's palm trees everywhere. There might be a couple of you that are wondering why this beach looks a little bit bad. They had a hurricane just like two, three weeks ago with winds that went very high. And this was an attempt to keep the water from destroying that. And it's not because this place looks bad, because the rest of the beach is just beautiful. But yes, this part looks a little bit bad. They're still working on fixing it. It's not their fault, it was the nature. Naturally, being this close to the ocean and coming for a swim every day was a given. And clearly, we made the most of every moment to have fun. The following morning was overcast and rainy, but we had a full day of adventures, so this would not keep us from getting going. Although it was very quiet in the camp until morning coffee started calling many to make a move out of bed. What did you guys find here? I'm going to kill a giant snail named George. Don't kill giant, George! Giant I'm snail doing a size please. comparison with my hand. That is huge! The giant African land snail is one of the largest terrestrial gastropods. They have an average lifespan of about 5 to 7 years, but when they have enough food and the weather is satisfactory, they tend to live much longer, some of them even up to 10 years. They have a muscular foot that helps them move, releasing a mucus while they move to reduce friction and avoid damage to the tissue. Today we will focus on school visits, while the rest of the team will be visiting other pastors and communities. A time of prayer and worship combined with planning is time well spent before we go out to the different locations. The kids and grown-ups make sure the dress code is according to local customs and a presentation program was talked through and fully prepped before leaving. What do you think? Yeah. Are the kids outside or in the car? The weather was getting worse, but there was great excitement in the air and we were not the only ones thrilled to be here. Uh, one of our first things that we're going to do today is to visit um, a school here, a local school. As you can hear, the wind is blowing like crazy, it's still raining, so I guess it will count as a stormy day. But the kids are here in the schools and it's very interesting how much different the school here is than where we're from. What the kids in our group is going to do, they're going to do a drama, they're going to sing a little bit, they're very excited, they're very loud and uh, as we approach with them being very loud, a lot of the kids just ran away, it's like an oh my goodness, I think it's going to be fun but here they come.
In the next episode, we laugh in the face of rain and stormy weather, all for the amazing smiling expressions of our youthful crowd.